Hello and welcome to Great Dalton. Today you join me in the living room for something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how you can make personalised tannoy announcements for your railway station. You can put these over a clip to make a sound effect or you can play these out loud for a speaker at your station. If you're like me and you have a fictional station or somewhere that isn't based on the main line then you might have a need for these messages either to announce certain railway journeys or just to have a welcome message for when passengers arrive into the station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can record and then manipulate your voice using free software to make it sound like it's coming from a tannoy, either outdoors or indoors. I'll show you both bits. And then I'll show you how you can play this back using a certain app. So I myself am in a band and I have here an instrument mic which I'll be using. Um, but you can easily just use a cheap plug-in mic which can go directly into your PC. If you're using a laptop you might need a small USB adapter as not all laptops have microphone um, ports on the side of them, just headphones, and you can't record through a headphone port. If you're using an instrument mic you'll need an audio interface to translate the signal that comes from a microphone into something that's friendly for recording on a computer. I'm using just my guitar pedal board which has an uh, audio interface. Something you might also want is one of these. This is a pop shield. Um, it's basically, it does as its title describes. Um, when you say certain letters like P's and B's, you make a pop of air which can be picked up by the mic and it'll sound like a big breeze or just something that's not particularly nice on there. So what this does is when you speak into it between this and the mic, it splits up all those bursts of air and makes it into a nice smoother signal going into your microphone. So the software that I'm going to be using is called Audacity. Um, Audacity I've been using for several years for my band and for my recordings, but I've never thought about using it for this aspect. Um, it's free, it's downloadable from the internet, and it comes with a variety of features and effects that you can put onto your recordings to give them a certain sound. And it's, got, it's, it's quite good for, for free software. It's got a lot of tools you can use for recording, clipping and splitting. So I'll show you how to use it in a sec, um, and I'll make a recording. So, this is Audacity. At the top here, you have your basic recording tools. Record, stop, play, pause. I think these are just for flicking to the next selection. Um, here is where you will select what device you're recording from. For me, it is the ME80, which is my guitar audio interface. And then you've just got your playback options here. You've got special tools with playback speed, volume, and gain. Um, and up here, effect was where all of the effects are listed. There isn't really much you'll use on here to make these um, tunnel announcements, but I'm just showing you the basics. So I'll go ahead now and make a quick recording. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform two does not stop here. So we'll play that back and we'll see how it sounds. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. Alright, so there's our basic recording. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get rid of everything that isn't actually part of the recording. So the microphone muffles and just empty space. So we can select these sections here and just press delete on the keyboard. Same over this end. And now they're gone. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. So you might notice that's a little bit quiet and that's just because I'm going through an audio interface before it gets to the computer. So the gain isn't as much as it would be if it was just a standard plug-in microphone. So what I can do is I can select all of the audio, go to effect and press amplify. This figure here, the, um, the lower you make it the louder it will get. I just tend to keep it at what the uh, Audacity has already set it at and I can just press OK to apply. So that's going to be a bit louder and a bit clearer now. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. I wouldn't give, I haven't given an example of how it sounds without the pop shield but it'd be a lot of uh, air blasts and it wouldn't be a very clear recording. So that's pop shield's made it a lot better as I say a lot of P's for platform and whatnot. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some reverb. If you don't know what reverb is, it essentially makes your voice sound like it's in a big open area or a hall, depending on how much you want. Um, if you just wanted a little bit, it can make it sound like you're speaking in an open area like a park through a microphone. 
but if you wanted loads then you'd be sounding like the Tamo announcer at London Euston station which is very muffly I don't think I've ever understood one message that's come through that so we'll go to effect all the way down here is reverb all of these values here I'm not exactly sure what they entirely do but um, you can just press OK it will add a certain amount of reverb and if you do it again it will add a bit more reverb and you can just do this until you get the desired level you want so we'll add one lot first stand well away from the platform edge the next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here now to me that sounds like it would be an announcement on one platform but I want if I want an announcement for the entire platform I want to add a bit more reverb so we'll do it again stand well away from the platform edge the next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here and that's sort of the desired level I want. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to open up this bass and treble option. Uh, bass you don't want any of because standard tower speaker is very little bass at all and it's a very sharp sound and that's what the treble does. So if we increase the treble a bit to say 5 and we'll keep the bass right down low at the minus 30 and apply that and then we can see how that sounds. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. And that's starting to sound a bit more like a Tano announcement. And if you wanted it to do it again, you could do it again. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. But I think I'll keep it at just the first quantity of the bass and treble application. And that sounds okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a delay. Now the delay effect makes it sound as if your voice is coming from multiple speakers dotted around the station. And you might want this if you're having a station-wide announcement and um, these values here you've got your echo level and then this delay here I've set it at 0.1 seconds it doesn't need to be a lot it's amazing how messy the message can sound if you start to increase this figure and then the number of echoes I'd only want to set it as one as well so we'll press OK and that'll apply that to the audio and we'll play it back now stand well away from the platform edge the next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here so there we have our tunnel announcement. I'm quite happy with that. You can continue to play around with the effects if you want. Um, there's plenty of Audacity tutorials out there on the YouTube. But I'm just going to leave it as that for now, as this is your basic tunnel announcement. So, I'm going to export that now. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my phone, and then I'll be able to play that through my Bluetooth speaker in the shed, and then we'll see how it sounds. So, I'll get back to you when I've got that ready. So, I'm just in the shed at the station, and I've got my Bluetooth speaker here. Obviously it's an empty station at a minute as all the stock's away for the winter. I'll uh, press play and you can see how it sounds played out loud. Forgive the rain on the shed roof. Standing well away from the platform edge, the next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. And I shall now just insert the, video the audio file over this video and you can see how that sounds as well. Standing well away from the platform edge, the next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. So there you have it, that's how it sounds with just playback in a speaker in the actual shed and then I've also put that over the top of the clip so you can see how it sounds. Uh, now for playback options you can simply just put it on your phone and press play from whatever music app you've got. Um, I use an app called Custom Soundboard. Now basically what it is is you can make, you know, as it says from the title, I don't know if you can see that, you can make soundboards from, from what you want and then if I go into there I've just got the tunnel. So I can literally just press that and it will play. Stand well away from the platform edge. The next train to arrive at platform 2 does not stop here. And then I can add as many as I want. And rather than having to flick through and find all the tannoys, I can individually organise them into soundboards. So I could have station announcements and then I could have journey announcements. I could even add some of the uh, onboard announcements if I wanted to. So that's called Custom Soundboard if you wanted to get that from the App Store. So that's all from me today, hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different for a change. Um, I'll be back either in the new year or just before with a either weathering video or the beginning of the station build. Thanks for watching and as always check out Rule 1 Model Railways who's now surpassed 1000 subscribers, so well done to him. There's no reason he shouldn't, he has an excellent layout and a really good channel. So I'll leave the link in the description and you can go over to him if you want. So that's all from me and bye bye.